Hey, this is Jake with Reverb. Here to talk to you guys today about getting some James Jamerson style 16th notes in your own playing. I wanted to try something a little different today. Rather than teaching you about a bass player, teaching you exactly what they played, I wanted to teach you how to start thinking like a bass player. In this case, James Jamerson. So for each example, it's just two measures. Four beats of F and four beats of B flat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to preserve the integrity of the downbeat on each measure. So you're always gonna be hitting the same F on beat one of the first measure and always gonna be hitting the same B flat on beat one of the second measure. Initially what we're gonna do is we're going to just start adding one eighth note before the second measure and then again before the first measure when we come back around at a time until we get to beat two and then we're gonna add one sixteenth note. So first the uh of four and then the E of four with the and in between. To help us out, not just in terms of time, but in musicality, we got a pocket operator providing us a backbeat. One, two, three, four. First eighth note. Second. Third. So now we're going to start adding the 16th notes. We're going to keep those 8th notes there. We're gonna add first the uh of four, and then the E. Take it back through three. We're not gonna go past beat two, once again. One, two, three, four. Right, now in the last three examples, we're gonna leave out beat two entirely to give it a little bit of space. One, two, three, four. So hopefully you're feeling pretty comfortable with 16th notes right now. What I wanna do is I wanna start syncopating those a little bit. So in the following four examples, we're gonna start tying some notes together over the beat. Starting with the uh of two, and then adding the e of three, the uh of three, and then lastly, the e of four. One, two, three, four. So the emphasis for this video was entirely on the rhythms. I wasn't really paying too much attention to the note choices, which is not quite what James Jamerson would have done. So please feel free to substitute some of your own. Again, the idea right now is just to get the feel. 
And hopefully by the end, you started to hear that some of these lines really sounded like Jamerson. I lifted a couple of these examples directly from the song I Was Made to Love Her by Stevie Wonder. His playing's remarkable on that track, so make sure you check it out. This is Jake with Reverb. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.